Today we are checking on the newest entry level and budget friendly phone from HMD Global, the Nokia 1.4. Launched just early February this year, this new model boasts of a little upgrade from the previous Nokia 1.3. The Nokia 1.4 is priced at 4990 only, available in all of Nokia's authorized reseller and online e-commerce stores on Shopee and Lazada. So let's get to know more of the Nokia 1.4. Packaging of the Nokia 1.4 comes in a simple and minimalist box design with some key features found at the back and a large photo of the unit on the front. Inside the box, you have the Nokia 1.4 unit, a micro USB charging cable, USB charger, quick start guide, product and safety info, SIM pin, screen protector, which is already applied to the display, earphones, and a clear protective jelly case. For our review unit, we have the Fjord blue color as seen on the back casing of the Nokia 1.4. It is made of durable polycarbonate plastic body material and has a nice textured matte finish to prevent those unwanted fingerprint marks and hold securely into any hand. On the back, you can spot the circular dual rear camera design together with the LED flash placed on the top center. Below the rear camera, you have a fingerprint scanner followed by a matte finish Nokia logo and the loudspeaker at the bottom left. On the front, you have the entire display fully covered by glass with thin screen borders visible on its bezels while a V-notch houses the selfie camera on the top and another Nokia logo at the bottom. On the right, you have the standard placement for the volume keys and power button, the dual SIM and the micro SD card slot and Google Assistant button on the left-hand side. While on the top, you have a 3.5mm audio headset connector while at the bottom holds a micro USB charging port and microphone. On the display, the Nokia 1.4 offers a 6.51 inch HD Plus display edge to edge screen, the perfect size for browsing, gaming, and watching your favorite videos on it. It has a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels on a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. The Nokia 1.4 has a built in 1.3 GHz quad core Qualcomm 215 mobile platform 64 bit CPU offering for an improved performance for its dual camera setup and power efficient in delivering low power audio and sensor processing. Our review unit has a 2GB memory and a 32GB storage. The operating system used for the Nokia 1.4 is the Android 10 Go Edition. It's another version of the regular Android but designed to run on an entry-level smartphone. With the Android Go, it takes up less space for the Nokia 1.4's low storage capacity to hold more apps and media files. It is also ready to receive for future updates on the Android 11 Go Edition. There are no bloatware or even customized skins. What you get is a stock Android with no extra pre-installed apps, just pure Google stock apps. If the 32GB storage is not enough, don't worry because you have an available micro SD card slot that can support additional storage of up to 128GB. The dual camera setup on its rear comprises an 8MP with autofocus and a 2MP macro lens with an available LED flash on the center. For your selfies, the front-facing camera offers a 5MP lens. There's no outstanding feature on the Camera Go app but they added a storage indicator to let you see how many shots are left before you completely run out. It has autofocus to fine-tune the focus of your subject, but you can also tap to focus your shot if you're much comfortable with it. The shooting modes you can select are portrait, photo, video, and translate. The translate mode works when you point your camera at words, writings that you want to translate. The Nokia 1.4 is equipped with a night mode with both on the rear and front camera. The built-in macro camera can be used via the photo mode only, which is placed just above the shutter button, indicated by a flower icon, and close to it is the zoom function icon. Here are our photo samples taken by the Nokia 1.4. For video, the Nokia 1.4 can shoot only at 720p at 30 frames per second by default, with no other settings to choose from. There's still a storage indicator that shows you how many minutes remaining for you to record before you run out of space. 
here's our sample video using the Nokia 1.4. This phone offers a sizable 4000 mAh battery which Nokia claims it can offer up to a 2 day battery power. You can also manage your battery through the phone settings with features like battery saver mode, battery manager, or check your battery usage. Charging the phone, it uses a micro USB port via the included 5 watts USB charger. Here you just need to be a little patient as using up this phone took us almost 4 hours to get the Nokia 1.4 from 0 to 100%. Standby time on the Nokia 4.1 is quite impressive as well. For device security, you have several options such as fingerprint scanner on the back, face unlock, pin, pattern, and smart lock. Aside from unlocking your phone, you can also use the fingerprint sensor to let you authorize purchases and app access. With the affordable price on the Nokia 1.4, it can be the ideal gift or the first smartphone model to satisfy your young ones. Another key feature found on the Nokia 1.4 is the parental controls option that allows you to add content, restrictions, and set other limits to help your child balance their screen time with the phone. You can have app approvals or content filters in case they downloaded an app through the Google Play and monitor where their data usage is being channeled. You can also supervise the phone remotely through Google's Family Link app for parents. There is a dedicated Google Assistant button on the left side. By pressing it, you can command it to trigger apps, ask all kinds of questions, make plans, or search what you need. At just 4990 the Nokia 1.4 is a great buy if you're looking for an affordable phone. It offers a nice set of worthy features such as a solid build quality, optimized OS of the Android Go that's clean and free from bloatware, parental controls, large display, security features, and its reliable battery power. Overall, the Nokia 1.4 did a good job and made a decent impression. So if you're not particular of the specs, but looking for a secondary phone to use, and wanted a budget-friendly phone, then the Nokia 1.4 might be suitable for you. Now here's a summary on the specifications for the Nokia 1.4. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button to update you on our next videos. Thank you.